What's up guys? It is Jones Gold and Luxury coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be doing a review on a new Miami Cuban chain I got from Daniel Jewelry Inc. This is an 8mm 20 inches 14 karat gold. So I've purchased from um, Daniel's four times. Four times. Um, the first time was a 10 karat gold chain at 8 millimeter, 20 inches. Second time was a pendant, uh, 10 karat custom pendant. Third was a 24 karat 8 millimeter, uh, 20 inch gold chain, and now it's 20 inches, 8 millimeter, 14 karat gold chain. So four times, and all of my four um, four purchases have been great experiences from them. Um, anytime there's an issue, they'll always take care of you and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get into the review. Um, straight up, the package came in a box like this. I wasn't able to do an unboxing because FedEx had given my package, I guess, to somebody else, a doctor who they didn't even, they didn't even take an ID or a signature. They just gave it to him because I guess he picks up packages every day and they like confused I don't know how it's possible but anyway he gave the package back and everything that was in the box and whatnot was there but I was just like how is that possible we paid for a signature and ID check and they just didn't even do it so thankfully they called Daniel's jewelry told them about it and told me and everything was still in the box and safe but here it is it comes in a Daniel jewelry box like this it is double packaged in two FedEx boxes um, with some tissue paper and everything like that so it's super safe they give you a little mrsp tag this says it's 103.1 grams so that's the weight and then um, they give you a little kind of little baggy um, so you can put your jewelry in it and uh, these are they come with two lights so that's really cool um, personally since I've purchased from Daniel Joy multiple times I kind of use their little um baggies to like store my jewelry collection oh <laughs> ain't that look gangster um but yeah they're great for that and that's what i've been primarily using those baggies for and now i gotta put all this back in here <laughs> um but yeah stay tuned because i plan to do a video kind of showing my entire jewelry collection the primary reason why i buy jewelry from all over and around the world and kind of get it tested and everything like that is because I plan on opening uh, my own jewelry business. It will be Jones Gold and Luxury. So stay tuned for more information on that as well. So that will be epic. But yeah, let's get into this review. So on the chest, this is what it looks like, 20 inches. I think for guys, I would recommend 22 inches. Um, 20 inches is perfect on a body like me, but then again, I'm a little bit smaller framed and whatnot. And I'm not a man, so it's gonna it's gonna fit different because it's not it doesn't matter about how tall you are, it's more about your shoulder width and um how thick your your shoulder muscles and chest is and whatnot. But yeah, 20 inches sits perfectly for me, drops down at the lowest here, and then I can also bring it up a notch. That's why I was gonna get 18 inches first to change it up, but 20 inches is perfect because you know, I can have a little lower or in general, it sits on my chest here, which is a little higher, which I like. Um, I will also have a um, video comparing Gus Villa Jewelry to Daniel Jewelry Inc. They're Miami Cuban chain. So if you're kind of stuck in between and you're wanting to know what to go with, um, that's gonna be a really great video coming up. So stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna take this uh, chain off and give you some kind of up close looks. Additionally, I just wanna mention that this did take two months to make. Uh, so take note of that. Uh, they said nine to 10 weeks and it took about two months. So about eight to nine weeks. So it's a little bit quicker than expected, which is great. Sorry, I'm a little itchy. Um, it hangs perfectly straight no issues whatsoever on that i'm not sure if i'll be able to get that all on camera but let's give it a go perfectly straight i mean 
even if it didn't, which it does, if it had like a little bit of a turn at the bottom, that's pretty normal and not a big deal. The hang straight, straight test is a little bit overrated. What you don't want is a chain that like twists and turns and goes all over. That's not good. Um, I do, even though I own 24 karat chains, I am deciding to do 14 karat as a daily wear. I think it's perfect between like gold purity and durability. Um, so I think it's fantastic. The links are just gorgeous. Very evenly spaced out, beautiful. I got the sleek lock. As you can see, it's got that 14 karat stamp, solid gold. It's gonna be really difficult, I think, to see, but we'll see if the camera will pick it up. Maybe not. But yeah, that 14K stamp. And uh, I love Daniel Jewelry's sleek, sleek lock locks personally. Um, so they actually hand make the, their sleek locks. And I don't know any other Miami Cuban jeweler that hand makes sleek locks. All the rest are casted. So Gus Villa Jewelry hand makes their box locks, but not their sleek locks. And I think that that's a really big pro for Daniel Jewelry is that they do handmade, not just the sleek locks, but I mean box locks, but sleek locks as well. And they're just so nice. They're so well made. Um, so totally love it. This one is a little bit looser on the hinge than my 10 karat one was like it opens easier and it was really tight on my 10 karat but i don't know if that's because um 10 karats 41 percent gold and 14 karats like 60 percent. so there's a durability change or what not too sure um it could just be that my 10 karat chain was made too tight too um which i prefer it opening up easier that's really nice um uh so I'm going to go ahead and show you all some close-ups. Additionally, I'm going to show you me testing the weight and get the millimeter, millimeter width for y'all. All right, what's up, everyone? So, um, disclaimer, I've already worn this for two days, so 48 hours, day and night. I did clean it um, with a jewelry cleaner before doing this video, um, but here is the chain. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it, do the length, everything for y'all. So, let's do the length first. I always recommend y'all do weigh and do that millimeters and look, check the length when you get anything that's expensive. Um, when you have any jewelry handmade, mistakes can happen. So my 24 karat chain, they did it an inch over. So it was supposed to be 20 inches, but it was 21 inches. Um, and, uh, not disregarding the male clasp, it was 21 inches. So it was too long and I sent it back and they fixed it. So things happen, you know, no jeweler is perfect, but as long as they take care of you with your issues, you're golden. This particular chain I've had no issues at all with. Um, so we check here, it's exactly 20 inches disregarding the male piece because that goes in the lock. All right, so next we're going to do the weight. So online their website says that a 20 inch 14 karat Miami Cuban with a sleek lock should weigh approximate, approximately um, 100 grams. Okay, this is in grams. So they told me this was 103 grams or that was what was on the tag. So let's see what it came out to. 103.07 which is what I believe they said it was we'll do it one more time 14 karat gold um, 103.07 grams this is a solid piece by the way um, if you don't know what 14 karat is it's around 58 percent roughly gold and the other mix is alloys such as sterling silver copper things like that to strengthen the gold all right, so now we're gonna do the millimeter test. All right, I'm gonna to try to video this accordingly. Um, at this part of the chain, I'm looking to be about 8.6 millimeters. Here we're looking about 8.7. I'm gonna try one more spot on the chain. And here we're getting about 8.5. Now something to take note is that this can be off more or less by 0.2 millimeters. So I think it's between 8.5 and 
um, give or take, you know, um, I'll go ahead and zero it out. But um, yeah, chain's gorgeous. Turned out absolutely great. Here is the sleek lock up close. I know a lot of people haven't had the chance to kind of see the mechanism up close. So I'll go ahead and open that up for y'all. Really well done. Definitely my favorite um, sleek locks in the game out there. Personal opinion. All right, one last thing that I like to show off is the strength of the sleek lock. So um, a lot of people think box locks are more secure or tighter, better, whatever the case may be. That may be true with higher carats such as 18 or 22 carat, even especially 24 carat. But I think for 18 carat and below, the sleek lock is fine. So check out this click. I don't know if y'all heard that very nice click. So extremely secure and just, just absolutely fantastic. Definitely my favorite type of lock from Miami Cuban, um, if done, or at least at by Daniel Jewelry. All right, so as you can see, it came in at 8.5 millimeters rather than uh, eight, which is great. They went plum, which means over, which is fantastic. Everything looks really good. The chain's excellent. Uh, Daniel Jewelry, I've I mean I've been buying from them, keep going back, so obviously they just make great stuff and um, totally recommend. Looks absolutely amazing on the chest. I haven't quite clipped it in just yet, but um, totally uh, rock it. I think eight millimeters great for everyday wear. I think nine millimeters fine for everyday wear, even 10 millimeter. But remember, as you go up a millimeter, the weight will increase which is like, it starts getting really heavy on your neck. You know, I think one of the issues with my 24 karat chain is it's just so heavy um, because gold is so dense. So yeah, that's my review on Daniel Jewelry Inc. and this Miami Cuban chain. I love it and it's great. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like I said, I'll be doing some comparison videos. I'll be re reviewing another chain. Additionally, I'll be showing my jewelry collection and my store will be opening up soon to get you guys some really nice gold jewelry, solid gold and all from a reputable dealer. Additionally, I'm going to have some options where there's going to be some, some consulting. So if you want to uh, schedule a time with me, to do some consulting basically i'm gonna i can give you some information on um, what care you should go for what millimeter maybe what jeweler based on what you're looking for because before you spend thousands of dollars on a uh, piece of jewelry sometimes it's nice to get information and detail from someone who's been a part of you know has invested so much time into gold jewelry and gold itself along with the whole manufacturing process and somebody who kind of gets that all behind the scenes and whatnot to help you um kind of narrow down your decision additionally i own pretty much every carat of gold so that also will help you before you make this very large purchase additionally online there's a lot of false uh, information because Google's kind of like an algorithm and just picks up whatever's most relevant or popular, which doesn't necessarily mean it's right. So keep tuned on this channel if you want some more information on gold jewelry or jewelry in general, and also look into perhaps, you know, further reaching out for that consultation if you're really wanting to take the time before you invest a lot of money. Anyway, Dan's Daniel Jewelry Inc. did great. Um, I don't even have this chain clipped in right now. I'm just laying it on me. Uh, it's fantastic. Love them. Totally recommend Daniel Jewelry Inc. It's going to be a long wait time, but it's worth it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.